Hello, this is Willie Thomas with the Robinson ISD Instructional Technology Department, and we're going to talk to you today about those end-of-the-year procedures when it comes to Google Classroom and the things that you will need to do. So as you see here, I'm at my Google Classroom dashboard here where I have all my different classes, and we're going to start with what you need to do with the kids that are in your classroom. So in Google, it allows you to archive all of your classes. But if you archive your classes before you return your information or your assignments back to your students, the students will lose access to those assignments. So when they share that assignment or they submit that assignment to you, they lose access to that until you return the assignment back to them. So it's like them handing in a piece of paper, handing in a project, and then you returning it back to them so then they have access to it again. So I'm going to actually go into, Miss, uh, into the Marvelous Morning class here. And I'm going to come down to one of my assignments. As you can see here, there's my assignment here, the Ben Franklin assignment. And if I click on this Ben Franklin assignment, you can see here are all the students that have, well, not turned it in. But as soon as they get uh, a chance to get that done, I can actually come over here and select right next to all students and hit the return button. And this will return that assignment back to them so that way they can have access to it as well. So if you want your students to have access to the things that they have submitted, this is what you will need to do inside of your assignments, okay, in all, in all of your assignments. Now, another way that uh, you can use your classes for next year is you, you can use them and not archive them. If you want to just get rid of the students that are in them currently, if you go to your students tab up here at the top, and you'll see here this little box here that lets you select all students right here. All my students are selected. And so for each class, I can come over here and click on Actions, and it'll actually allow me to remove all of my students from this classroom. So then the students will no longer have access to this class, and so then you can add those students in there uh, next year, all your new students, if I want to remove them. The second way is to come back to all of my classes that I have. Okay, so I clicked on my three hot dogs here, my three lines, and I click on classes. And I'm going to actually go to the menu button here, which is they call it the snowman, and I click on it, and this will actually allow me to archive my class. So when I click on archive here, okay, it'll tell you you and your students won't be able to make changes. Uh, you can view this class and archive classes in the classroom menu. My, after all my classes have been archived, as you see here, and we're going to talk about this here in another video, that all your files will also remain in Google Drive. So Google, Google makes a folder for your classes. So I'm not going to archive her classes just yet because I know she's still using them at this point. But that is where I would go to archive those classes. And those classes live in this archive classes session or section. So here they are right here. Here are some classes that she has archived in the past. All right, you can still click on it. You can still get to it if you need to. All right, and then so for next year, if you want to, so I'll come back over here and go back. I can click on these three dots, and I can actually just restore the classes. Now, the students will have access to it again because... Uh, this person has not removed the students from the class, but you, they will still have access to it. But this will allow you to restore those uh, that particular class. But you can also go in for next year, and let me jump into one of the classes here. And just like we talked about earlier, we can reuse posts that we've created. And when I click on reuse post. All right, any classes that are archived, as you see, I can still go into those classes for next year. So next year, uh, when I get ready to do my classes again, if I want to create a whole new class, I click on there and still go in here and reuse any of these posts that I've used in a class that has been archived. Uh, so it's pretty neat how this works. It creates a new copy of the attachments, so that way not, every, not the people in your previous classes don't have access to that. So those are the different ways that you are able to archive your classes and to prepare yourself for the end of the year. If you have any questions, please uh, let us know at the Instructional Technology Department 
and we'll talk to you soon.